Hi guys, Poundland again today. Cops and robbers. Friction powered, okay. I mean, this is just like real life. All robbers have robber written on the side of their car, so you know which ones are cops and which ones are robbers. Friction powered, eh? Well, I can tell you one thing. There's no friction motor in there. It's missing entirely. It's just not there. Those are just freewheeling. I can work that out. But we'll take it apart and have a look. I think that just clips apart with a bit of luck. Does it? Oh no. Oh, it's got pillars for screws in there. But they're just pillars, they're not screwed in place. There you go, just pull it out. Yeah, on other cars, I expect you'd have screws going up through there to hold them in place. So, there we are, a complete lack of a friction motor. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Friction powered, and no friction motor. I mean, I suppose technically, yes, it's still friction powered. You push it along, and the friction of the table acts on the wheels and makes them turn. But it's not exactly powering them, is it? What can we do with this? We could probably uh, stick a gear on there and make it electrically powered. Or we might be able to attach a rubber band somewhere and make it rubber band powered. What I'm looking at that I think is quite interesting is there's a little plastic plate in there that replaces the, the friction motor. If I, I don't know if we can see that because it would be dark, but if I push that back I reckon that's going to clip up and we should be able to get it out. Yeah. So that's a cheap replacement for a proper little friction motor. <laughs> okay, so what can we do? I'll have a little think. Well, one quick and easy fix, which I'm not going to do, would be just to fit the body shell on top of this 4x4 flywheel. Um, car. That's the original body shell. So we could do that, but I'm not going to do that. Right, I found in my box of bits this electric motor that's got a worm gear on it, and this gear that's turned by the worm gear. The um, shaft that's on there is quite a bit thinner than that one, so I'm going to have to drill this out so we can fit that on there. I'll also need to cut a hole in the bottom of the bodywork there to make space for the gear to go down through. And I'll have to put some little stub axle tubes on the axle there and glue them in place to stop it slopping backwards and forwards. So we'll go up to my workroom and see what we can do.